So this is my child's closet at the current moment. As you can see from the title, today we are going to be organizing it. So if you are interested to see the end results, keep watching. So over here we have some hats and some baby carriers. We have blankets, thick blankets, thin blankets, burping cloth, socks. We have some laundry bags there, um, a diaper bag. We have bibs up there and then a bunch of picture frames and books. We have, um, yeah, it's, this is just, it's a bunch of clothes. And at one point in time, it was kind of sort of organized, but um, yeah, for the most part. And then we have a bunch of big boy shoes and little man shoes. And then the clothes that he has um, hanging, they are like from newborn to 24 months, y'all. So, and then we even have a second row in the back. So I'm going to just be clearing this out. Oh, and we also have the car seat. Yeah, the car seat in the um, car seat base and stroller. So I started by clearing the shelf. So I took the hats down and we have socks. We have some mitts, a bunch of bibs, and shoes. Shoes, more shoes, shoes, and shoes. Oh, more shoes. Um, and then we have these little sets where it's like bats, hat, and mitts, but then it's like bibs and socks. Um, and then these ones have the mitts, the socks, and the hats. So we're going to clear out the stroller from the closet. And we are going to get to organizing. So I got these from the dollar store. I got a bunch of different kind because the dollar store, you know, they be real low on products because it's a dollar. So I went to two different stores, Dollar General and Dollar Tree, and got those. And then I have this chalk pen and then these little chalkboard labels that I'm going to use for each bin. So I'm going to start with these bigger black ones. Um, they are not fancy. Um, these two I got from Dollar General and they were definitely not a dollar. They were four dollars extra but I had to get this closet organized so I just said whatever so I just put the base in at the bottom to kind of make it like sturdy and then I'm starting with the hats I'm gonna put all of the hats in this bin and then I'm gonna do one for the bibs And then we have socks. So I'm gonna fill those that one up with the socks. Okay, so then that's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna fill this one up with the shoes because the shoes are there's some infant shoes, but for the most part they're big boy shoes. So I'm gonna push that to the side, and then I'm going to separate these little sets and I'm going to put them in each container okay so now I am looking at the size of the clothes and I'm just taking stuff out because I'm going to separate everything and it wasn't even until I got to doing this to to where I realized like this is a lot of stuff, okay? In the end, all I had was newborn to three months in the closet. And then next, it was time to get this going. So I just clear these little cubbies out and ended up actually finding more hats and mitts so i put those in the containers And 
And then I cleared the shelf of the picture frames and the baby books. So this actually turned out to be way more stuff than I thought. And um, yeah, so <laughs> this is a mess. So now I am labeling each of the chalkboard labels for each bin. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm separating the onesies, the long sleeve onesies with the feet in because I'm having them in the winter time. I want to have those like on hand first. And um, once I have these ones um, together, I'm going to put them in the closet. And then the rest of this stuff I am going to separate by um, the month size. So these are zero to three months here. So I'm gonna put these in the closet as well. And then I have three to six months here. And then it's stuff in the bins. And then this is six months to nine months with stuff in the bins. And then we have nine months to 24 months. So that's how that is. I got these vacuum storage bags. And this is what they look like. It shows through directions on how to work the bags to get the air out. And then this is what it looks like once I finished. So you can see that I have labels on there. Three to six months. Six to nine. And what is this? Nine to 24 months. I have a few of those. So I'm going to put these in his big boy closet. So in the end, this is what the closet turned out to look like. It's clutter free. It's neat and it's just, it's simple. And then these are the clothes on the hangers. These are the long sleeve onesies, but they don't have the bottoms, like the legs or the feet. Um, and then these are the ones that you saw me separating first with the feet in and long sleeve. And then the rest of the onesies are just normal onesies. Um, on this side of the closet, I have like the bigger ones, zero to three months. And then this is the diaper bag. And then here is like a little dresser. On top, I have like a bunch of pacifiers. Also, we have this cute little jade elephant crystal that I got from Louisiana and a clear quartz because we need to have energy up in here. Um, and then this is a picture frame of the only sonogram that I got done while I was pregnant. And look at that face. Then we have this little dresser drawer here and inside the top one are some blankets and in this one we have like thicker thicker blankets and in the bottom one i just put um some books baby books baby albums i'm going to be doing like a little picture album for him um and you know that's old school style and then on the other side i have like baby carriers um and stuff like that so that's what that looks like and then in the bins here we just have the shoes and then we have a bunch of burp cloths and that's really that.